Gilt bronze was hugely popular in France during the 18th century. It was used to create objects like wall lights, clocks, and fire dogs. It was also used to make ornaments, called mounts, for decorative objects and furniture. The process for making gilt bronze was quite complicated. To make these gilded ornaments, a bronze had to be cast, chased, gilded, and burnished. After a drawing and model were completed, a craftsman created a mold like this one, which has a model placed between two frames that are tightly packed with sand. When the two frames were carefully separated, the model was removed, leaving a cavity. Once the mold was prepared, molten bronze was carefully poured into the cavity. The molds were separated when the metal was still red hot, revealing the cast bronze. After the metal cooled, a chaser sharpened the edges and embellished the bronze with details that were too fine to be achieved in the casting process. The chaser used tools called punches to create texture. A good chaser would have had more than 3,000 punches. After the smooth and textured surfaces were prepared, the bronze was ready for gilding, the application of a thin layer of gold to the surface. The gilder began by melting eight parts mercury and one part gold leaf together. This created an amalgam that was applied to the bronze using a tool with brass bristles called a bat. The bronze was then placed onto a coal fire to evaporate the mercury, leaving a fine layer of gold bonded to the base metal. Finally, to bring out the brilliant reflective qualities of the gilded bronze, the smooth areas were burnished with a dog's tooth, a piece of hematite, or an agate mounted on a handle. The finished bronze was then ready for display, either by itself or mounted to a piece of furniture. These brilliant ornaments are an example of the superior craftsmanship found among Paris artisans and illustrate one of the reasons why France remained the undisputed artistic center of Europe for the decorative arts throughout the 18th century.